In our health alert tonight, it's a common drug found behind the counter at gas stations and convenience stores across the country. But what people don't know is this simple supplement actually contains chemicals similar to opioids. It's called Kratom, and while this drug isn't nearly as strong as heroin or morphine, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, and the FDA say it does have some potential for abuse, and it's thought to be slightly addictive. So, Dr. Nandi, why hasn't the FDA then banned this drug? That's a great question, Dave. The agency actually planned to ban it in 2016, but stopped short after a public outcry from users, even from some members of Congress. Now, according to the American Creative Association, between three and five million people use it in the U.S., and some like the extra boost of dopamine it gives them when they work out. Others use Kratom to wean themselves off of heavy opioids, and still others use it for issues such as depression. Now, if the FDA really bans Kratom and makes it a Schedule One drug, researchers feel like they won't be able to study the plant. Now, considering that we know so little about it, lots of professionals think that we should do more research before banning it altogether. So what's the advice for people who may be considering giving this drug a try? Absolutely, Glenda. So here are my prescriptions. First, understand that Kratom acts like an opioid. If you have any addictive tendencies, you should really steer clear of this drug. Also, if you're depressed, please see your doctor before self-medicating with this drug or any other. And also, if you decide to try it, don't get Kratom from a gas station or, or at a head shop. You do your research and find a reputable vendor online. You can go to WXYZ.com. We'll give those to you. And also, instead of, instead of substances like Kratom, try meditation for helping with your depression, uh, much less in the, in the way of side effects. And also, we'll continue to check back on Kratom's legal status as it may become unlawful to possess it in the near future. So please stay tuned. All right, Dr. Nandy, we thank you so much for keeping us informed. If you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter, give us a call. We'll get it to him.